It's, of course, an Alabama Wednesday night here on Mark Rogers TV. And to do it upright, we bring in Stephen M. Smith from Touchdown Alabama with a bat, the Tide back in full pass for the first time on Tuesday, meaning for the first time since going all the way back to the national championship game. Stephen, how are you doing tonight? It's uh, doing well. Sun is out here in Alabama. We're dealing with some crazy heat, but that's unpredictability. Where the weather comes in Alabama. Yeah, it's it's kind of a touch and go month. March is. It's that transition from winter to spring, and you don't know always what you're going to get, especially in certain parts of the country. You know what you're going to get at Alabama camp in terms of Nick Saban running a tight ship and all the talent that's on display. That talent, though, is a bit banged up, as it is with most teams across the country. So important to find out where guys stand physically at this point. And I think you've got some encouraging news for us. Uh, definitely. Uh, Sean Dion Hamilton, number one, the uh, inside linebacker who had a great year last year, actually had 69 tackles. The young man from Carver High School at, in uh, Montgomery, Alabama, was signed in the Crimson Tide's 2014 recruiting class. And Sean Dion, back in full pads Tuesday, was back practicing with the inside linebackers, actually leading that particular group through position drills, despite having that black non-contact jersey on it felt it, it was good seeing him out there getting back into the swing of things getting back into the flow of things uh before tuesday he was doing some individual things but as of tuesday really more so back doing the team drills as he continues to prog uh, to progress at the running back position bo scarborough bj emmons looking smooth looking better and better each day both guys battled with some leg foot injuries down the stretch last year. Of course, we know Bo Scarborough went down with the leg injury against Clemson in the college football playoff national title game. But Saban continuing to be uh, pleased with the progress both guys have made in individual drills as well as team drills. So as far as Sean Dion, Bo Scarborough, and B.J. Emmons are concerned, those three are progressing beautifully. In the defensive standpoint, where the secondary is concerned, Jared Maiden, who had the hip injury that required surgery, he's progressing also, but still a bit limited. But as for Sean Dion Hamilton, Bo Scarborough, and B.J. Emmons, some uh, positive vibes flowing through for those three.